We are gonna be doing start, bench, cut with the Brody Fexer. Yes, sir. I'm ready to. Well, is there really winning in this? It's not gonna be winning with this. Each set of characters will go through three different rounds of rating. We'll be rating them off of character design, impact in the story, and their strength. Are you ready, bro? Oh, I'm ready. Let's get this. And also, guys, if you want more of these type of videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give us ideas in the comments and let us know. We're gonna start off with a warm up round first, and it's gonna be Devil Fruits. Marco's Devil Fruit. Ace and Sabo's Devil Fruit and Anel's Devil Fruit. Fexer, what you got? Which one do you start benching and cutting for in real life? So, I'm, I've am i already stated this, but my favorite Devil Fruit yeah. is the Lightning Fruit. So I have to start that one. Okay, okay, that's understandable. And then for real life, when you said that, like there's just no way I can cut Marco's healing fruit. Like, do you know how overpowered healing people would be able to, like, that is, no, I have to go. And I'm cutting Ace's fruit, I'm sorry, but it turned him into a donut. <laughs> Oh, we starting early. <laughs> now I, I agree, man. Like, I have to cut Sabo's. Like, it's a jewel in the One Piece community, but if we talking about in real life situation, I mean, the other two are already better, you know? Now, benching. I, I'm a bench. I think I'm gonna go with you, man. I'm gonna have to bench Marcos. The aesthetic can only take me so far. <laughs> and I'm at the start of Nels, man. The amount of things you can do in real life with a Nels Logia Devil Fruit, on top of just being a Logia, you can, it's crazy things you could do with that. But yeah, like, I'm, I know it's small, but like, imagine like your phone dies and you just like instantly charge it. Like, <laughs> that's just cool. <laughs> like, that's just cool. The warm up round is done. It's time. Are you ready? Because we're about to get crazy with this. Let's get into it. I'm ready. All right. Now remember, guys, there is no 100% right choice with this, but we might have some hot takes. The first set of characters we have Kaido, Big Mom, Odin. We are ranking them off of their Ooh. design first. What you got, bro? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> off of design. I'm starting Kaido. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing wrong I'm with starting that. Kaido. He's, he's massive. He's intimidating. He's designed like perfectly. Yeah. He fits his character exactly. And then the next one, actually, this one honestly could go either way because Big Mom definitely fits her description. She's this, massive. This is, this is true. But Odin is super cool. Odin. Odin I'm going Odin Big Mom. I'm Benching okay. oh, you're bitching big I'm cutting Odin. <laughs> I'm cutting you're just Odin. praising Odin and you just <laughs> Okay, that, yeah. th that's what you're doing? Yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see. Design-wise, yeah, I, it's it's a tough one, but I think I'm gonna have to cut Big Mom. Now look, I, I know that the prime Big Mom, young Big Mom, whatever you wanna call her, that, that it's hard if we think about that, you know? But I, I'm gonna have to cut Big Mom right now. Odin just has that type of aura and aesthetic, you know, that I just can't cut him. I just can't cut him. So I'm gonna have to bench Odin and start Kaido, just like you said. It, his design fits the character just perfectly. You know, everything that yeah. he is about, design's just perfect. What about impact on the story though? This is when things are gonna get a little interesting. Okay, I have, if we're talking about impact, we have to go with Odin starting. I mean, not only was he a part of the Roger Pirates, he read the Poneglyphs for the Roger talk Pirates. It, talk they it. literally would not talk have been it. able to make it to Laugh Tail without him. So I gotta start Odin. I'm gonna bench Kaido and Big Mom's getting cut. Man. Yeah, honestly, you could make an argument for Big Mom to be cut on all three of these. <laughs> this, is, this is true. I might, I think I agree with you on all that. Honestly, I think my lineup for this might be the same because, yeah, uh, Big Mom was very underwhelming, you know, especially where we are right now. And Odin is just still underrated. I don't get it. I don't get why people sleep on Odin. I don't know either. It's because probably he couldn't beat Kaido, which, I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of people who couldn't beat Kaido, so. Yeah. I mean, it, it's funny you bring that up because that's where we're on now for the last round for these three. Strength. Which one are you starting? Which one are you benching? And which one are you going to cut? For all three of these, or no, for the two I've started so far, it's been Kaido both times. And that's not changing. <laughs> Kaido's it, starting again. It shouldn't change. But, but last time I cut Big Mom, She's being benched this time. I'm cutting Odin. Okay, again, I think I might agree with you on this. At first, I did have, I'm not gonna lie, I did have Odin on the bench and I was cutting Big Mom, but I had to think about it. Mm. Odin just is not a durability monster like Kaido and Big Mom, man. I, I don't know how many hits he could take, like straight up. Also, those two are not only like durability monsters, they have two insanely cracked devil fruits. Cracked, like, just insanely cracked, and they know how to use it perfectly. This one was one of the easier rounds, honestly, so. Yeah, this you one was pretty easy. for a treat. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> this, the next one's gonna get a little crazy. I might have some hot takes for this. I might have to go first on this. The next one we have Blackbeard, Dolphy, and crocodile. 
design for these three? Yeah, we're going off design. Do you, you want first or you want me first? I feel like I'm... No, you go for it. Go for oh, it. Oh, man. Okay. You want to see what I have to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we're going off of how just One Piece is with pirates, I say this all the time, man. I'm going to have to at least bench Blackbeard. I'm doing it. I get it that people are like, oh my god, so Croc or Do Dofi's getting cut. Look, it, it has to happen right now. I'm gonna give the start to Dofi. And at the moment, I might have to cut Croc, man. People might call it a Blackbeard bias, but I always say it. He's the he's one of the best pirates in the in the whole story, you know, and he fits it so well. You have a point. You're convincing me. I will say, Crocodile does have a pirate hook, which he's like one of the I only know. characters that has a pirate hook. He, and he's dripped out. I know. But there's just no way nobody's not starting Dofi. Like yeah, everybody's just... starting Dofi. Yeah. But for the bench, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cutting Crocodile as well. Yeah. <laughs> Blackbeard does fit the description of a pirate. Like he he like plays his role perfectly. Not that Crocodile doesn't, but yeah, it's tough, you know, because I do like Crocodile, but man, I mean, the next round is gonna be even more is is more complicated. We have impact on the story. I'm gonna just go. I'm just gonna go right here and just say it. I'm I'm starting Blackbeard. I know a lot of people still don't for some reason want to give him the credit, but I think everything that has happened has happened because of Blackbeard. He's been the catalyst for almost everything that's occurred. You know what I mean? And yeah. that's why I'm a, I'm a bench Doflamingo right now. And the only reason I'm doing that and cutting Croc again is because Dofi, he, he's given some of the best speeches in One Piece, like at Marineford, you know, even when he's locked up, he's a threat. The aura, everything that he did in Dressrosa, I, it, it's tough. Honestly, I don't think there's an argument for this one because it has to be Blackbeard starting. I yeah. Mean, He's like literally eyes and plan planning everything. Dofi being benched makes sense because he knows about Marijua, he knows about the Celestial Dragons, he's got that info. He ran a country, Dressrosa, whereas Crocodile failed to run Alabasta. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's a fair, I think that's fair. It's Those true. three in that order. Now strength-wise um, with these three, wh where do you have them? I'll let you take this one. Again, Blackbeard's supposed to be endgame villain. I don't know where he's at right now, but yeah. still, I do think those two devil fruits are enough to put him over the other two, Dofi and Crocodile. As for Crocodile, it's tough because we don't really know where he stands right now. We don't know if he got a hockey upgrade or if he didn't. Exactly. I mean, hey, Dofi's going through jail as well. So Crocodile yeah. went through jail and he got stronger, we're assuming. So yeah. I think Dofi will probably have, the same will happen for him. So I'm benching Dofi and cutting Crocodile. I have the exact same. I I agree because it's it's fair to assume, you know, we do have a lot of power cliffing issues at times in One Piece. That's at, at Dofi's one of those, you know, if he pops back up, is he gonna just all of a sudden know like Conqueror's coding or something? I, I doubt it. I hope it doesn't go down like that. But yeah, I'm gonna have him Dofi on the bench and cutting Croc too, man. Business wise though, Croc, you know, he Croc finesses his way through things, but not quite, not quite. <laughs> I was gonna say, you could even argue business wise, Dofi might be a business man because the dude is making deals with Kaido. <laughs> this is true. He was working at with the underground kings and everything too. That's a good point. Now we have the third set of characters and ah, I don't know guys, I feel like it's getting tougher each round we go. The next ones we have up, Trafalgar D. Waterlaw, Eustace Kid, and Yamato. Useless D mid is up to back. <laughs> because of that, I'm gonna let you take design first, bro. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, Law is starting. Drippiest character in One Piece, arguably. He's yeah. top three for sure. E easily. Next, you know what? Honestly, like, Eustace mid, <laughs> Use this kid's design is pretty sick. Like his metal arm and stuff. Honestly, I'm benching him cutting Yamato. Yeah. Really? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I like that. You gave you gave Eustace Kid some love. I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I gotta start Law, like you said. One of the drippiest characters in One Piece, so agree. Now, I don't know why, man. I don't know why with this design. I with Eustace Kid, I think I might have to cut him. And I'm gonna have to bench Ooh. Yamato. I feel like with the, I feel like Yamato's character design fit Wano perfectly with the aesthetics and stuff more than Yusuke's kid. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm hating on kid. Definitely useless kid. Useless kid is definitely not like a Wano fit. The colors but, just clash it. <laughs> yeah. I just think he's like his design fits like his rugged character. If you know I get what I'm that. To say. I get what you're yeah. saying. I get what you're saying. I'm still keeping kid down there for now. Maybe he'll have a different. <laughs> maybe have a, a, a an upgrade design to help him out in Elbath or something. You know, his his recuperating design. What about impact with the three? I think I'm cutting kid. <laughs> You cutting will. kid off the bat. There you go. Okay, I, I can agree with that. I mean, all he's ever done, really, like on the rooftop, he wasn't super useful. <laughs> and then, other than that, 
he's gotten his arm chopped off by Ben Beckman, and then he got Divine Departure, and now is drowning. So I wouldn't say he's super impactful. <laughs> he's just kind of getting clowned up. But Yamato or Law is tough, honestly. Who I would start? I'm going Law. I'm starting Law. That's a good one. Yeah. There's, there's no wrong choice there. I feel like you know. I think I'd have to cut Kid also because like the more you talk about it, it's not like I had him anywhere else. But like the more you talk about him, like dang, like bro's just there sometimes. <laughs> and I, I get he did his thing against Big Mom and Wano, but I mean Law was over there putting in work too. I want the cut kid. Starting and benching with Law and Yamato's tough because Yamato's resume looks good. The moment Yamato got introduced, Yamato went to work with helping out everyone, you know? But I am gonna bench Yamato and start Law. I think it's just kinda hard to knock Law off that, man. All his planning from like Punk Hazard, and then we saw how yeah. far his planning was going exactly. before that, and how it all tied in to Dofi and then Korra, and just, yeah, and it just yeah. it just gets better with Law. So yeah, I agree, I agree, I agree. It's cause Yamato was like introduced a little bit too late for her impact to be that great. Yeah, yeah. Compared to Law's. Yeah, definitely agree. We'll see Yamato again. Oda's been teasing us with Yamato and all these cover arts, you know? That's true. So that is see, true. We'll like the past, Yamato. like, five. Yeah, for real. <laughs> We're going to see Yamato again. Now, strength-wise, this might be interesting out these three. I feel like we see a lot of debates when it comes down to these three. I'm going to let you know right now. I might have a hot take when it comes down to this. I'm starting Yamato. I, and I'm okay. a, Yeah, and I'm a bench law. And, of course, Kid's going to be cut with this, but... I'm starting Yamato because it, it may not be an awakened devil fruit, but it, it you know, it might may, may not be, but we know Yamato knows how to use that devil fruit. But without that also, the genetics from Kaido, the hockey usage proficiency, I'm giving it to Yamato. I did not think we were gonna agree on strength. Really? You but, <laughs> but we we have the same exact strengthless because I, I agree Yamato's hockey is too much for either of these two yeah she's got a mythical Zoan for a devil fruit yeah like, <laughs> she's yeah. an oni race law obviously has better hacks than kid and kid can barely use conqueror's hockey so oh man yeah yeah kid's <laughs> getting cut although if with that devil fruit you'd think like he'd be stronger you would think so <laughs> you would think so again El elbaf kid might be different we can only hope We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're about to go into the fourth set of characters. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to both channels. Let's keep this going, because the fourth round right here, man, this is going to be a tough one. Sanji, Katakuri, and Mr. Robert, hold this L Lucci. I'm going to let you take this, because look, Sanji's your guy. I'm going to let you lead on this with design. What you got? Man, this is tough, but I think I already know what I'm going with for design. Design, I've got Sanji starting. Although, we're not talking about design when he's acting like a pervert. Uh, okay, we're not talking about that design. Those we're are separate about... designs, though. <laughs> <laughs> we're starting Sanji. Look, Lucci is like, he's Robert Gucci. Yeah. He's Robert Gucci. I got to bench him. Okay. And I'm cutting cat. Cutting cat. Oh, man. I knew this was going to be something interesting here. Okay, 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 okay. For my design, man, when it comes down to this, I'm going to start Lucci. I, I feel like that's one of the reasons why I like his character so much, you know? I'm not going to lie. It's funny you brought this up with Sanji. That's one of the things I was thinking about. Like, are we going to count <laughs> those designs where it's just, it's just rough, you know? But yeah. it, overall, I think of, you know, all the fits I've seen Sanji and all the cool like designs that he's had. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a bench, I'm a bench Sanji and I'm a cut Katakuri. It sucks because I'm a big Katakuri fan. I was gonna say, I thought you were a big Katakuri fan. I'm, I'm, I'm a big Katakuri fan, man. I it, Actually, no, I'm switching. I'm switching. I'm benching what? Kat and I'm cutting Sanji. What? We're not doing this. We are counting those. We're, count, we're counting him and Stussy. Uh, <laughs> Generational switch up. Oh my god. Actually, no, I don't know what to do. Cause it's it's you know what? I can't do it to Sanji. You know what? I can't do it to Sanji. It's too much. I'm sorry, Kat. I'm cutting Kat, benching Sanji. That that I'm running with it. Just go on to impact, Vexer. I'm hurting. <laughs> okay. I got it. We'll move us on. Uh if we're not having a straw hat starting, I don't know what we're doing. Sanji's gotta go at starting spot. But this one is tougher because Without Cat, I don't know if Luffy progresses the way he did with his observation hockey. But Luchi has also been a villain two times throughout the story. Yeah. Although he was kind of fodder at Egghead, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, this one is tough. Honestly, with the whole Nico Robin situation, I'm going bench Luchi and cutting Cat again. <laughs> <laughs> Is it crazy to think that I have the same exact thing? Cat, I'm sorry, bro. 
You take You're a doing note. this to your favorite character? This is rough, man. See, I wanted to oh make, like, my. when we made these, I was like, gotta make them tough because, like, it's, it's never a wrong answer here. But, yeah, like you said with Lucci, look, I'm gonna be real. What are seven in his lobby? Bro, that, like, the plot twist and everything, too, with Lucci and Kaku yeah. and everything, like, the in, that made everything so much crazy. Yeah, all Cat's done so far, like, impact-wise, impact, well, impact -wise, yeah, it's just been helping Luffy get his future sight and gave us a hell of a fight. We'll see Katakuri again soon, but us seeing Luchi again recently, that doesn't help, you know? So, yeah, I have to bench Luchi, too. I agree. Dang, Cat. M maybe he'll have some better round with strength-wise, man, with the with the strength. Oh, this one's gonna be... A lot of people are not gonna like this. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think people are gonna like what I have <laughs> I could run with this if you want me to. You can go first. Go for it. Strength wise. I'm gonna start off with cut, man. <laughs> I'm gonna cut Luchi, dog. Look, if this was, if we did this video in the very beginning of Egghead, when he was, you know, when we first saw the first clash with Luffy Gear 5, it might be different, but I'm gonna put him at cut right now. I'm going to bench Sanji. I'm doing this. I know people are gonna say, but cat doesn't have the AP this, AP that. There's only one thing missing with Sanji that is preventing me from starting him. It's Future Sight. If Sanji had Future Sight, Bro's on a whole different level. I just feel like Cat can counter too well with his observation hockey. He has some of the best observation hockey in the whole story, you know? That is true. Yeah, so that that's what I have. I, Cat, I... I hope I redeem myself, Katakuri. I definitely got Luchi cut as well because Luchi, <laughs> you could say Zoro was struggling, but let's keep it a buck. Yeah, like Zoro wasn't trying. Zoro was not trying against Luchi. When it was time, it was time. Yeah, he, <laughs> he got one tapped basically. And then he tried to hit the white beard pose. After. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? So yeah, we're cutting Luchi here. Like Sanji would not go out that sad. This one's tough. Because he kind of has an awakened devil fruit. He's got future sight. But Sanji's got that Germa jeans. Yeah. If these two were to fight right now, who do I think's coming out on top? Are we going to assume that Katakuri would have Con Conqueror's coding or no? I'm not assuming he would, though. Uh, he... Well, oh, shoot. Because do we... I guess we don't know if he does. Bro's That's been power cliffed the worst out of everyone. <laughs> He has Conqueror's Hockey. I don't know about Conqueror's Coding. Let's assume he doesn't. Honestly, I think you're right. Cat beat Sanji. Yeah, it's tough. You know, it's tough because also, correct me if I'm wrong with this. I don't think we've seen any non-Conqueror's Hockey user beat a confirmed Conqueror's Hockey user in One Piece except a Kainu donutting Ace. Am True. I wrong? No, no, you're right. I would say though, if Sanji had Future Sight right now, I probably would put him over Cat because Sanji's although, counter- like, Sanji's super fast. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's enough. Like, I don't think the speed difference is enough. Cause how's he gonna land a hit on Cat? That's the thing. Now, unless we're, I, I, like, I don't know about Cat's durability because- Yeah, he's, he's, he's durability kind of, <laughs> So if he does get hit by one of those, I don't know how many he's able to tank. Like two. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing. Is, oh, man. Yeah, that's yeah. a tough one. I'll go Cat, though, just because he's more well-rounded, at least. Make sure, guys, let us know in the comments what you think about this one, because th this one's stressing us out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> We're on to the last round, and this one is going to be a fun one, guys. We have Shanks, Mihawk, and Zoro. It's, it's, <laughs> we're ending it with this. <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm lead this one out here. Design wise. Now design was tough. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna lie to you guys with this. I'm starting Shanks. Big surprise. Look, if anyone's questioning that, you don't see the aura. <laughs> <laughs> Benching and cutting for this was actually pretty difficult for me. Both these characters, I do feel like, are some of the freshest characters, drippiest characters in One Piece. I do have a Zoro earring on right now, so I just might have to rep with this. I think I'm benching Zoro. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> But I, it, it would feel worse for me to cut Zoro than this. So I, I, I got to go with this. I have to cut Mihawk when it comes to design. I, I have to. I'm sorry, Fex. <laughs> it's not okay. Anyways, my turn. I actually think that all three of these characters are designed like perfectly. Agreed. Pretty dang close to perfect. But there can only do be Do I want to be objective or do I want to... <laughs> Because Mihawk is like shrouded in mystery. Like we've seen him on a yeah. coffin sailing by himself. Like I think that's a part of his design. Like that's pretty cool. I love that. It gives vampire vibes and everything. I love vampires. Shanks with that cool scar, missing an arm. Oh, come on. All right, I'm starting Mihawk. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> He's got those hawk eyes. Those, those look sick. Man, screw it. I don't care about objectiveness. We're going Zoro bench. We're cutting Shanks. Oh, Shanks is gone. Oh. <laughs> How do you lose your arm to a sea beast, brother? 
It's not even sea beast level. We're going there. Oh, you know, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill. <laughs> we have two more rounds left. I, I see where. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to impact on the story. Oh, shoot. Okay, impact okay. on the story. All right, let's go. Look, a paint merchant, as far as I'm concerned at the moment. Mihawk got to be cut. Look, now look. Now, let, let me back up before I before I keep going now. Because I just might be a little irritated at the first round of design. <laughs> paint but, merchant is outrageous. <laughs> all three of these characters, I do feel like, have had pivotal impacts in the story. I mean, look at what Mihawk has done, you know, for Zoro. Time skip. Look what Mihawk did. I think what Mihawk did at Marineford, with how he recognized, you know, Luffy's actual value and worth, that's impactful because that's going to come full circle you know that's pretty clear as day but Mihawk shrouded in mystery we haven't seen a lot from him we've just seen some key things from him and it still is kind of vague so I'm cutting Mihawk I'm benching Shanks and I have to start Zoro because nothing happened enough said mm. enough said mm. okay I actually have to agree with you with cutting Mihawk because like as you said he oh. hasn't all he is right now is just like a goal for Zoro. Like we need a yeah. little bit more on Mihawk sure. than a little Vista clash. Like, bro, what was that? Who are you, bro? Who are you, Mihawk? But I don't think I'm, I, I, wow, I can't believe I'm saying this, bro. I'm not trying to glaze Shanks, but like impact wise, he does everything in the shadows, but if he didn't bring the Nika fruit yeah. to Luffy, this is true. Zoro probably ends up dying on that This <laughs> that is pole. true. Oh, you're about to give Shanks love? Wait a minute. <laughs> am I, am I, am I, I'm not reading this right. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go. I gotta start Shanks and bench Zoro. He was on the Roger Pirates. He basically started this whole show. He's the reason why Luffy became a pirate. Yeah, Zoro's his loyal crewmate, but yeah, I'm starting Shanks. I'm, I'm just okay with whatever you have to say right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, so you're Team Shanks now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't go that far. <laughs> All right then. Now, strength wise, I do feel like this is gonna be a fun one and it's gonna be even more fun. Easy. End of Easy. story. But. It's pretty fair. I mean, Zoro's cut, you know, he's out of there. He's not even on the same league when it comes, when it's on this type of tier right here, you know? Starting and benching. I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna say this right here. Since I have you on here now, Fexer. I've said this on lives before and the chat has wanted me to have you on live so we could say this. So now that I have you, I'm gonna say this right here. I personally feel like, yes, Mihawk is the most skilled swordsman strongest swordsman in one piece but i do feel like shanks has more to his arsenal app like besides that and Dude, every time people i hear people say this what do they think he's gonna do put down the sword and throw a one-armed punch <laughs> i don't what do you mean he's got more in his I, arsenal he's a swordsman. I, I, I feel like we have he, he may have more hacks just like he has the observation killer skill you know that's something we just not recently found out about but that hasn't even been like revealed yet in the anime yet you know what i'm saying so i feel like that might have been the reason why i feel like mihawk and shanks were actual rivals because they could fight on an even battlefield when it came to swordsmanship you know what i mean and because i feel like i feel like they, that's how they knew each other back then also maybe when the god knights or something because th there's something there you know during those lost times but i do feel like I, I have to bench mihawk bro because of that i feel like shanks is still I don't know, man. I don't know, but that's what I have. It might be biased. I'm a Shakes fan over me. That, 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 that might be it. <laughs> you, you got it, Fexer. What you got? <laughs> All right. Well, obviously, cutting Zoro same, but there's something about the fact that when Zoro was facing S Hawk, a literal yeah. cyborg, uh -huh. and said, Dog, you're more human than Mihawk. Like, that alone, like, he had a cyborg sweating, whereas Mihawk has, like, <laughs> cold no emotion yeah he a he's vampire basically like non-human yeah and i think that mihawk having a black blade although it's painted whatever it was given to him okay let's say he created it and then people will argue well what if it no okay let's just say he created the back <laughs> black blade himself yeah that requires some sort of hockey output that's significant <laughs> Very significant, because we saw that the best swordsmen, including Roger and Shanks, and I guess you don't want to consider Whitebeard because his is not really a sword, but we've seen the best swordsmen. Odin, only half blackened his blade. Only other one that was fully blackened was Shisui's. The only part I'm scared about is Mihawk <laughs> If he has conquerors or not. If he doesn't have conquerors, are, or let's say like, are you are you are you doubting your are you doubting your guy on conquerors? Well, so here's my thinking: is that I think the way you turn your blade black is you surrender your will to your blade, and that's Ooh. like your conqueror's hockey basically stays on the blade because we know conqueror's hockey is black lightning. I like that. But the problem is with that is like, okay, well, if your will is weaker than your blade's will, it's like, okay. Yeah, that's true. But for now, if that, I'm hoping that's not true. So I'm starting Mihawk <laughs> and I'm cutting shanks. Get that dirty rat out of here. <laughs> 
I, I like those Mihawk takes, honestly. When it comes down to it right now with Shanks and Mihawk, I'm not gonna say it's a far stretch. They're literally standing in the same room when it comes yeah. to their strength. You know, they're probably damn right stand, sitting right next to each other playing Call of Duty. Like, they're that close. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's true. So I, that, that, I'll, say, I'll say that. I'll say that. But, uh, but dang. Okay. Yeah, guys. That is all the characters we have for this first episode of Start Bench Cut. Like I said before, if you want more videos like this, Make sure you let us know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channels. And I mean, Fexer, you got anything to say to everyone? Mihawk solos the verse. We'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that sub button. Much love, guys. We'll see y'all later. <laughs>